Rohan from Sindarin Rachand, also referred to as the Rittermark or the Mark is a kingdom in J. R. R. Tolkien's fantasy setting of Middle-earth. It is mainly a grassland, and lies northwest of its ally Gondor, and further northwest of Mordor, the realm of Sauron, their enemy see maps of Middle-earth. It is inhabited by the Rohirrim, a people of herdsmen and farmers who are well known for their horses and cavalry. The realm is of significant importance in the author's book, The Lord of the Rings. Much of the background of Rohan is grounded in Anglo-Saxon tradition. Conceptualized as the Horse Lords of Rohan, allied with Gondor in early drafts of 1939, the Rohirrim took their final form in 1942 when about one-third of the Lord of the Rings was completed. Topic. Rohan in Tolkien's works Topic. Geography Rohan was an inland realm. Its countryside is described as a land of pastures and lush tall grassland which is frequently windswept. The meadows contain many hidden pools, and broad acres of sedge waving above wet and treacherous bogs that water the grasses. The lands of Rohan are frequently described as appearing like seas of grass, and are therefore perfect for horses. The Sindarin word rock, from which Rohan derives, means horse, Karen Wynne Fonsted calculates Rohan to be 52,763 square miles 136,656 square kilometers in area slightly larger than England. At the time of the War of the Ring, Rohan was roughly a third the size of Gondor, whose borders had slowly been shrinking for centuries. Its warm continental climate generally brought hot summers and brisk but short winters, marking a midpoint between the harsh winters of Wilderland to the north and the long, subtropical summers of southern Gondor. The winds can come from almost any direction and the weather is highly variable in any season. Topic. Borders. The borders of Rohan were North, the ease of Fangorn Forest, the rivers Limlight and Anduin, and the walls of Imen Muil. After the War of the Ring, the kingdom was extended northwards over the Limlight to the borders of Lothlorien. East, the mouths of Entwash, and the Mering Stream, which separated Rohan from the Gondorian province of Anorian, known to the Rohirrim as Sunlending. South, the White Mountains West, the rivers Adorn and Isen, where Rohan bordered Isengard and the land of the Dunlendings. The area of the western border was known as the Gap of Rohan, here the Misty Mountains and the White Mountains drew near to each other. However, following the conclusion of the Third Age, the realm was extended west beyond the Gap of Rohan as far as the Greyflid and the sea shores between that river and the Isen. Topic. Capital The capital of Rohan is the fortified large town of Adoras, which is located on a hill in a valley of the White Mountains. Adoras is Old English for enclosures, which Tolkien held to be a translation of an unknown Rohiric name of the same meaning. The town of Adoras was built by Rohan's second king, Brago son of Eorl the Young. Before Adoras was completed, Rohan's capital was at Aldberg. The hill on which Adoras is built stands in the mouth of the valley of Harrowdale. The river Snowborn flows past the town on its way east towards the Entwash. The town is protected by a high wall of timber, and a one-way road allows access to the town. 
Just before the gates, two rows of mounds line the road, which contain the graves of the former kings of Rohan. Medusald, the Golden Hall of the Kings of Rohan, is located in the center of the town at the top of the hill. Medusald, a modernized form of the Old English Medusalde, is similarly meant to be a translation of an unknown Rohiric name meaning, Mead Hall. Medusald is a large hall with a thatched roof that appears golden from far off. The walls are richly decorated with tapestries depicting the history and legends of the Rohirrim, and it serves as a house for the king and his kin, a meeting hall for the king and his advisors, and a gathering hall for ceremonies and festivities. Medusal looked over the plains of Rohan, and its doors faced towards the Aetheid, the ancestral home of the Rohirrim that lay over the horizon to the north. It is at Medusald that Aragorn, Gimli, Legolas, and Gandalf meet with King Theoden in the account of the early stages of the War of the Ring. Other settlements Upstream of Adoras, deeper into Harrowdale, lay the hamlets of Upborn and Underharrow. At the head of Dunharrow is a refuge in the White Mountains under the Great Mountain Starkhorn. Aldberg, capital of the Eastfold, was the original settlement of Eorl the Young. The settlement Snowborn, similar in appearance to the hill fort of Adoras, is named after the river of the same name which runs nearby. The Hornburg, a major fortress guarding the western region, is located in Helm's Deep, a valley in the White Mountains. Topic: <inaudible> Regions. The Kingdom of Rohan, also called the Mark, was primarily divided into the East Mark and the West Mark, respectively east and west of the Fold. The East Mark and West Mark were each led by a marshal of the kingdom, and each included smaller regions. North of the Fald, the boundary between the two was the Snowborn River to its junction with the Entwash, and thence north along the Entwash. The Fald was a small region in the central south of Rohan, and lay neither in the East Mark nor the West Mark. It contained Rohan's capital, Adoras, and the settlements of Harrowdale and Aldberg. It was Rohan's most populous region. In an earlier concept, Rohan's capital region was called the King's Lands, of which the Fald was a sub-region to the southeast of Adoras. This earlier concept of the Fald found its way onto the map of Gondor published with the return of the King. Most of the rest of Rohan's population was spread along the foothills of the White Mountains in both directions from the Fald. West of the Fald and thus in the West Mark, the region of Westfold extended along the mountains to Helm's Deep, the defensive center of Westfold, and to the Gap of Rohan. Beyond the Gap of Rohan lay the West Marches, not to be confused with the West March of the Shire, the kingdom's far west borderland. The region of the Eastfold extended along the White Mountains in the opposite direction and was thus a part of the East Mark. It was bounded by the Entwash to the north. Its eastern borderland was called the Finnmark, beyond this lay the Kingdom of Gondor. The center of Rohan to the north of the Fald was mainly a large plain, divided by the Entwash into the Eastemnet and the Westemnet. These regions fell respectively into the East Mark and the West Mark. The northernmost region of Rohan, and the least populous, was the Wold. The field of Celebrant, even further north, was added to Rohan after the War of the Ring, thus incorporating the site of the battle that had given rise to the kingdom. Topic. Culture. Topic. People 
The Dundane of Gondor and the Rohirrim were distantly related having descended from the same northern stock, and the people of Gondor described the Rohirrim as middle men, inferior to the Numenorians in both culture and descent, but superior to the men of darkness who had worshipped and served Sauron. And this is stated as fact in The Lord of the Rings, but contradicted in later writings. The name Rohirrim is Sindarin for people of the Horse Lords sometimes translated simply as Horse Lords and was mostly used by outsiders. The name they had for themselves was Yorlingas, after their king Eorl the Young who had first brought them to Rohan. Rohirrim is a collective noun and should be used with the definite article i.e. the Rohirrim. It should not be used as an adjective. The adjective is Rohiric, which also refers to their language. Tolkien also used Rohanese occasionally in his letters. The names and many details of their culture are derived from Germanic cultures, particularly that of the Anglo-Saxons and their Old English language, towards which Tolkien felt a strong affinity. Ultimately Anglo-Saxon England was defeated by the cavalry of the Normans at the Battle of Hastings, and some Tolkien scholars have speculated that the Rohirrim are Tolkien's wishful version of an Anglo-Saxon society that retained a «rider culture» and would have been able to resist such an invasion. In any case, they did not go to Beleriand like the Edain who were later rewarded with the island of Numenor by the Valar. The ancestors of the Rohirrim were known as the Aetheid and were given the province of Kalinardhan by Gondor after the Battle of the Field of Celebrant. The people of Rohan were for the most part tall, fair and pale, with blue eyes and blonde hair which they wore long and braided. In the far west however, particularly in the land between the Isen and the Adorn west of the Gap of Rohan, many Rohirrim were of mixed Rohirrim and indigenous i.e., Dunlending ethnicity, and were thereby shorter, with darker eyes and hair much more in evidence. The Rohirrim were described by the Dundane as by nature stern, fierce and grave, yet generous. They were ruled by a line of kings descended from Eorl the Young. They are proud and willful, but they are true-hearted, generous in thought and deed, bold but not cruel, wise but unlearned, writing no books but singing many songs, after the manner of the children of men before the dark years. The Lord of the Rings, the Two Towers. The Rohirrim had had contacts with elves in their ancient history, and knew of Eru God, but like the Dundane they did not worship him in any temples. They seem to have venerated the Vala Orom the Hunter, whom they called Bema. In response to a query about clothing styles in Middle-earth, Tolkien wrote, The Rohirrim were not medieval in our sense. The styles of the Bayou Tapestry made in England fit them well enough, if one remembers that the kind of tennis nets the soldiers seem to have on are only a clumsy conventional sign for chainmail of small rings. Topic. Horses and warfare The armies of Rohan were largely horsemen. The basic tactical unit was the Aird, an Old English word meaning cavalry, troops. The Old English plural is Aerides, which at the time of the War of the Ring had been standardized at a nominal strength of 120 riders. There are also companies of infantry and archers, as seen in the Battle of the Fords of Isen. Rohan's armies were more of a very well-trained militia called upon in times of war, with the actual standing army relatively small. They are described as armed with long spears, swords, axes, light helms, round wooden shields, and mail armor. The only Rohirrim soldiers described as knights were the king's riders, the personal bodyguard of the king of Rohan. In time of war, every able man was obliged to join the muster of Rohan. They were also bound by the oath of Eorl to help Gondor in times of peril, and the latter asked for their aid through the giving of the Red Arrow. 
Also, the Rohirrim could be notified to aid Gondor by the lighting of the warning beacons of Gondor, a series of beacon fires along the White Mountains from Gondor's capital to its border with Rohan. In the film The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, the beacons extended into Rohan, virtually all the way to Adoras. At the start of the War of the Ring a full muster would have been over 12,000 riders, among the horses of the Rohirrim were the famed Miras, the noblest and fastest horses who have ever roamed Arda, Felarov was the greatest of all Miras. It was because of the close affiliation with horses, both in war and peace, that they received their name. Rohirrim or more properly Rosharam is Sindarin for Horse Lords and Rohan or Rachand means land of the horse lords. These names were devised by Halas, the steward who ruled Gondor from TA 2567 to 2605. Topic. Language The Rohirrim's language is Rohirric. It is, like many languages of men, akin to Adiunaic, the language of Numenorians, and therefore to the Western or common speech. The Rohirrim call their homeland the Rittermark, a modernization by Tolkien of Old English Ridena Miark, meaning, according to the Index to the Lord of the Rings, the border country of the knights. Also Ao Mark, the horse mark, also simply the mark. They call themselves the Yorlingas, the sons of Eorl. In the original Rohirric the name for their land is Lagrad, with the element Lo, Lo, corresponding to Anglo-Saxon, Ao, horse. Rohirric bears a similar relationship to Western, the common speech of Middle Earth, as that of Old English to Modern English, and so Tolkien rendered Rohirric names and phrases into Old English, English of the Anglo-Saxon period, just as the common speech is translated into English. Examples include words such as miras, another Old English word for horses, which survives into Modern English as mares and Ayrd. Tolkien was a philologist, with a special interest in Germanic languages. Many archaic hobbit names bear similarities to Rohirric, since the ancestors of the Shire hobbits lived on the upper reaches of the Anduin, close to the ancestors of the Rohirrim, and there was apparently a good deal of linguistic cross-fertilization. The name Hobbit itself is believed to be derived from the Rohirric Holbeitla whole builder. These names are also translations of the original Western Cuddock Hobbit and Rohirric Cud Dukan whole dweller. In The Two Towers, Chapter 6, the riders of Rohan are introduced before they are seen, by Aragorn, who chants in the language of the Rohirrim words, in a slow tongue unknown to the elf and the dwarf. A lie that Legolas senses, is laden with the sadness of mortal men. The song is called The Lament of the Rohirrim. To achieve a resonant sense of the lost past, the now legendary time of a peaceful alliance of the horse lords with the city of Gondor, Tolkien has adapted lines of the Old English poem The Wanderer. Where is the horse gone? Where the rider? Where the giver of treasure? Where are the seats at the feast? Where are the revels in the hall? Alas for the bright cup, alas for the mailed warrior. Alas for the splendor of the prince. How that time has passed away, dark under the cover of night. As if it had never been. Tolkien's adaptation, comparably heroic in its anguished nostalgia, is characteristic of his approach to remaking his sources. Where now the horse and the rider? Where is the horn that was blowing? Where is the helm and the halberd, and the bright hair flowing? Where is the hand on the harp string, and the red fire glowing? Where is the spring and the harvest and the tall corn growing? They have passed like rain on the mountain, like a wind in the meadow. 
the days have gone down in the west behind the hills into shadow. Who shall gather the smoke of the dead wood burning? Or behold the flowing years from the sea returning? Thus spoke a forgotten poet long ago in Rohan, recalling how tall and fair was Eorl the young, who rode down out of the north. Aragorn explains. Tolkien has managed to incorporate into the imagery elements of plot the horn that was blowing, his consistent thematic imagery of west and shadow and imagery of the constant seasonal and linear flow of irretrievable time that gives the Lord of the Rings an authentically Anglo-Saxon note. In the last two lines Tolkien has also introduced the character of answers familiar from Old English riddle literature, while he has extended the staccato Anglo-Saxon lines of his model to adjust to our expectations of five-beat stress in heroic poetry in English. Topic. Internal history Topic. Early history In the 13th century of the Third Age TA, the kings of Gondor made close alliances with the Northmen of Rovanion, a people said in the Lord of the Rings to be akin to the Three Houses of Men later the Dane, from the First Age. In the 21st century, a remnant tribe of such Northmen calling itself the Aetheid moved from the valleys of Anduin to the northwest of Mirkwood, clearing out what remained of the recently defeated Witch Kingdom of Angmar, east of the Misty Mountains. While there, some dispute arose between them and the dwarves over the treasure hoard of Scatha the Dragon. Later, in 2509, Sirion the steward of Gondor sent summons to the Aetheid for aid in throwing off a combined invasion of Balkath men from eastern Middle-earth, and orcs from Mordor. Eorl the Young, lord of the Aetheid, answered the summons, and arrived unexpected at a decisive battle on the field of Celebrant, routing the orc army, and then destroying it as it fled. As a reward, Eorl was given the Gondorian province of Kalinardhan except Isengard. This land had earlier been devastated by the plague of 1636, and the survivors to a large extent slain in the invasion mentioned above. Topic. Kingdom of Rohan Eorl the Young and his people founded the Kingdom of Rohan in the former Kalinardhan in TA 2510. The first line of kings lasted for 249 years, until the ninth king Helm Hammerhand died. His sons had been killed earlier, and his nephew Friolf Hildison began the second line of kings, which lasted until the end of the Third Age. In 2758, Rohan was invaded by Dunlendings under Wolf, son of Freca, of mixed Dunland and Rohan blood. The king, Helm Hammerhand, took refuge in the Hornburg until aid from Gondor and Dunharrow another refuge of the Rohirrim arrived a year later and defeated the invaders. It was soon after this that Saruman arrived and took over Isengard, and was welcomed as a strong ally, since it would take Rohan close to 200 years to recover its strength after the invasion. Topic. War of the Ring and Aftermath In TA 3014, Saruman began using his influence to weaken Théoden, the 17th king of Rohan, as part of a campaign to invade or take over the kingdom. In 3019, he launched a great invasion of Rohan, with victory in the two first battles at the fords of Isen, Théoden's son, Théodred was killed during these attacks and defeat at the Battle of the Hornburg, where the Huorns came to the aid of the Rohirrim. On the heels of this victory, Théoden rode with an army to Minas Tirith and helped break its siege in the Battle of the Pelennor Fields, where he was slain. 
He was succeeded as king by his nephew Aemer, the first of the third line of kings. Aemer thereupon took command of the battle. Also in this battle, Eowyn, niece of Teoden and sister of Aemer, slew the lord of the Nazgul. Aemer rode with the armies of Gondor to the Black Gate of Mordor and took part in the Battle of the Morannon against the forces of Sauron, who were defeated when the ruling ring was destroyed. The rule of the stewards of Gondor was then over. King Aemer and the new king of Gondor, Alesser, renewed their oath of alliance, and reaffirmed Sirion's grant of Kalinardhan to the Rohirrim. At this time, Eowyn married Faramir, prince of Ithilien and steward of Gondor, thus joining the lines of Gondor and Rohan. In the Fourth Age, Rohan remained in peaceful coexistence with the reunited kingdom. A community of dwarves, led by Gimli, developed in the caves of Helm's Deep, which became prosperous from its mining of precious materials. Topic: Politics. Topic: Kings and Marshals. Rohan was an absolute monarchy, though the nobles and marshals had important power in the governance of the realm. The king led the army during wartime. The succession of the kings of Rohan was by primogeniture. Although females could not succeed to the throne, males could in certain circumstances succeed via a female relative of the previous king. In the War of the Ring, King Theoden popularly appointed his niece Eowyn to rule during his absence from the capital Adoras. The country was divided into districts, such as the Eastfold and the Westfold, led by marshals, though it is not clear whether their functions extended beyond the purely military. Originally the first marshal was responsible for the area around Adoras, the capital, while the second and third marshals were assigned various territories depending on the need at the time. After the War of the Ring the first marshal was replaced with the position of underking, and the second and third marshals were renamed marshals of the East Mark and West Mark, holding those lands permanently. Topic. Alliance with Gondor The alliance between Rohan and Gondor came into existence in the year 2510 of the Third Age. In that year the Easterlings launched a massive invasion of Gondor. The army of Gondor was defeated and trapped between the Limlight and the Celebrant. Gondor, which had always been on friendly terms with the different tribes of the Northmen, sent messengers to the closest tribe, the Aetheid. Although it was unlikely that the message calling for aid would come through, it did. Then Eorl the Young and his fierce Aetheid riders unexpectedly took the field during the Battle of Celebrant and turned the tide in the favor of Gondor. As a reward Sirion, the steward of Gondor, gave Eorl the depopulated province of Kalinardhan for his people to settle, while fulfilling Gondor's need for a strong ally. The oath of Eorl was sworn by both Sirion and Eorl. Neither nation has ever broken the alliance ever since. Rohan has gone through great lengths to fulfill their part of the treaty including sacrificing two of its heirs when Gondor was under threat from the Herodrim in 2885, when Fastred and Folcred, the twin sons of King Folquine, were killed during the Battle of Crossings of Poros. King Theoden once again honored the alliance in the Battle of the Polenar Fields. Topic. War with the Dunlendings To the west of the Gap of Rohan lived the Dunlendings, a native people who had been largely hostile towards the Dune Dane and their allies for a long time although they tolerated the exiled dwarves of Durin's folk in Dunland. 
the Dunlending Lord Wolf led a victorious army of Dunlendings and briefly usurped the throne of Rohan during the Long Winter ta. 2758-59, avenging the murder of his father Freca by Helm Hammerhand. Topic. Rumors of tributes paid to Sauron During the early days of the War of the Ring, rumors were spread that the Rohirrim supplied Sauron's armies with horses. These rumors were obviously false, the Rohirrim valued their horses more than anything, and would never send them away, even as tribute. Still these rumors had some effect, in that they obscured the fact it was Saruman who had fallen, rather than Rohan. The basis of the rumor was that Sauron's orcs stole many of Rohan's black horses during raids, thus making black horses rare, however, this was theft, which angered the people of Rohan. Wormtongue. When King Teoden began to grow old, he took as an advisor Grima, later called Wormtongue. Grima quickly became Teoden's chief advisor, but unbeknownst to all he was secretly working for Saruman. Grima played on Teoden's fears to further weaken the strength of the king and all of Rohan, always advising retreat where an attack was needed. He may have also begun poisoning the king at this time. This nearly proved disastrous for Rohan, and also for Gondor, by robbing them of their strongest ally in the north. Grima Wormtongue's plans were not revealed until Gandalf arrived in Adoras during the War of the Ring. After King Teoden's son died, Grima attempted to have the king's nephew Aemir disinherited he may have intended to marry Teoden's niece, Eowyn, the only remaining member of the royal family, and thus take the throne as her consort. Topic. Important Rohirrim Rohirrim preceding the War of the Ring Eorl the Young Helm Hammerhand Other Kings of Rohan Rohirrim in the War of the Ring King Teoden Deorwine died March 15, 3019 Third Age was a knight of the Rohirrim. He was chief of the king's knights, that is, the king's riders, the personal bodyguard of the king of Rohan. He fell with six of his men at the Battle of the Palenar Fields in the War of the Ring before the gates of Minas Tirith. Teodred, Aemir, Eowyn, Grima Wormtongue. Various captains, such as Grimbold, Gamling the Old, Hama, Elfhelm, and Erkin Brand. Topic. Concept and creation Topic. Language Tolkien rendered Rohirric as the Mercian dialect of Old English. Even words and phrases that were printed in modern English showed a strong Old English influence. Old English was supposed to render an archaic form of Western, which was supposedly rendered by modern English. This solution occurred to Tolkien in 1942, when he was searching for an explanation of the Edaic names of the dwarves already published in The Hobbit. Teoden is referred to as Teoden King, rather than King Teoden, just as Scandinavian and the Anglo-Saxon era kings had the word Konunger, sinning King added after their names, e.g. Herverer Konunger, rather than before. Compare with Alfred the Great, King of England whose name appeared as Eilfred Sinning in Old English. Topic. Portrayal in adaptations 
For New Line Cinemas The Lord of the Rings film trilogy directed by Peter Jackson, the Poolburn Reservoir in central Otago, New Zealand was used for Rohan scenes. The theme for Rohan is played on a Hardingfele. A fully realized set for Adoras was built on Mount Sunday in the upper reaches of the Rangitata Valley, near Erifin in New Zealand. Some of the set was built digitally, but the main buildings atop the city were built on location, for example the mountain ranges in the background are not added in with computer-generated imagery, but part of the actual location shot. The interiors of buildings such as the Golden Hall, however, were located on sound stages in other parts of New Zealand. When the camera is inside of the Golden Hall, looking out the open gates, the image of the on set Adora's set is digitally inserted into the door frame. It was known among the cast and crew for being extremely windy, as can be seen during the film and DVD interviews. After filming, Mount Sunday was returned to its original state. Rohan is also the setting of an expansion for Lord of the Rings Online released on 15 October 2012. See also Rohirric List of Kings of Rohan Herat